Hey y'all, it's Megara and today I'm sat in the new filming location. I'm literally opposite where I would normally film in front of my bookcase, but it's a bit of a mess over there. I'm currently got a week off. It's a shithole because we're sorting out the flat a bit. You get the idea. So I thought I'd film on the sofa. Hopefully you can see my lovely cushions behind. And so I thought I'd show you my everyday makeup routine because this is what I kind of do every day. I've got a few products I'll change in and out with this but this is kind of the general idea of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're interested, keep watching and subscribe because I'm slowly gaining subscribers, you know? Steadily. That's the important part. Starters, I normally go in with some moisturizer because my skin is drier than the Sahara Desert. Or drier than the air outside because it's a lovely bright sunny day today, hence why I'm really poorly lit. I literally go in with a bit of this, is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I literally just get a bit of my finger and smoosh it into my face. I go with a little bit of it at a time because otherwise I, I don't want to waste it quite honestly. And yes, yeah, so you can see I've got a lovely friend coming in up here. I got this in the ASOS Advent Calendar I have them at work. And it's pretty good. Better than the Revolution one I find. And it smells so good. I don't know what it is that it smells of, but it's really nice and it's not too, too perfumey. And I don't tend to use primer, partly because I'm lazy, partly because I always forget. But I do tend to use the foundation, and this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, love this thing to death. I already got through one bottle and it's kind of looking grim already. Sorry, whoever bought it for me, Secret Santa. But at least you can tell I'm using it. So I do just kind of do a few little pumps on my face like this. But I don't like getting my hands dirty. I don't mind getting my hands grubby and dirty and sandy, but I prefer not to do it with makeup. It just seems like a bit of a waste of makeup. And then I go in with like buffing brushes and Spectrum BO2. I do just kind of buff it in. I do use a sponge occasionally, but I just find brushes are easier to clean. Obviously I don't clean them as much as I should, but I do clean them. And it's always gonna do think coverage because I don't always want to be full, full face of makeup. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But it's out, this is in. And this does, leave, so I shouldn't use it with a moisturiser, it does leave a nice bit of glow underneath, I find. I take powder it down, but it doesn't really, but it's not too matte and it's not too shiny. I don't like shiny foundations. It is a medium coverage because you can still see my little friend up here. So next is concealer and I'm going to use a L'Oreal Infallible more than concealer. This thing, I have it in the fade 320 porcelain. I just put a little bit under my eyes. I go down a bit further because it makes it easier to hide the fact that, well, I don't always sleep as much as I should. And sometimes I sleep too much. I do go over a bit of my forehead. Am I running out of this stuff? I think I'm running out. Yeah. Damn. So then again, same brush. I do get it on my eyelids as a kind of lid primer. So this is a powder brush, it's a tapered one. I'm going to use a Nabla Close Up Baking and Setting Powder. I don't bake because my skin is dry enough as it is. And that is messy today. So I'm going to get a bit of spill, whack a bit under my eye. Hope to hell I don't crease. Story of my life. So there's a little bit in the lids, I'm just swirling it around. I am sorry about the seagulls, but when you live in a seaside city, you're gonna get seagulls. So I'm just picking up a little bit from the tub, swirling it around so I get it all evenly spread about. And I'm going to go in with a bigger powder brush. Again, same thing. Get a bit on my brush, swirl it around in the lid. This way it kind of I make a mess, let's be real. Just as well I'm not wearing my black jeans or my black work shirt because I've got the week off. I'm gonna go with a little bit more on my nose because my foundation always comes off my nose. I'm not sure if it's me, my boyfriend, or just because I'm always taking jumpers on and off because I get cold, then I get too warm, then I get too cold. Anybody in England knows what I mean. So, as you can see, you kind of still 
You can kind of see this all kind of, you can still see this bit, but uh, to be honest, I just don't care right now. And my skin's looking a lot more even. Um, I did get a lot of red around here, particularly a good on the other side as well. That is just, um, what is it called? Keratosis pilaris. So now I'm gonna go in with my brown. So I'm gonna go with something that's probably a little bit off right now, but I paid a lot of money for Cabral. No, not Cabral, browsings. So I just go in with the powder quite honestly, the this side here, where it's got a nice big dent in it. And I just gonna tap it in. And draw, quite honestly, is the best way to put it. Also, I'm sorry I didn't post a video last Friday. I had a bit of a shit week. I'll get more into it in another video about why I was a bit of a shit week. Self-inflicted is one of those things. And I just didn't feel like filming a video last weekend because I wanted a weekend off. And I didn't want to film, film during the week because I was feeling a bit shit. And then Friday rolled around like, yeah, fuck it. So happens when you work four days a week. I had a day of a holiday that I needed to use. And if you're wondering about why my brows aren't exactly even, and there's hair growing underneath, I'm getting them waxed in two days and tinted because I'm a lazy bitch. And I'm gonna go in with the Incredibrow Brow Definer in Brunette by Collection. It's literally just, it's genuinely just a brow spoolie, a brow pencil. And it cost me like two quid. I'm just gonna fill in any sparseness, make sure they're all even all the way through. Cause I'm sure everybody who's about my age has that little bit where they overpluck their brows and the hair just never grew back. And that's why I get mine tinted. I haven't had it done in like two months. I'm gonna go in with this Born This Way, Rimmel Born This Way brow styling gel, it's a clear one. I find it's less messy then, because I've had tinted ones and I just... I am very messy, is probably the best way to put it. And this way, make sure they stay in place. And this stuff is brilliant. I'm probably going with a bit too much, but I don't care. Again, it's... I like it. So for bronzer, what have I got in here? I've got... The two bronzers I use most, and that is, no, I have another two bronzers I use, that is a highlighter. Physician, physician, yeah. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Fell in love with this, really love it. And this is what I use most. I sometimes go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. But with all the drama going on with Too Faced at the moment, I decided I'd probably be better off using this one. So I just go in with a tapered brush, Tap into it. Work out where my cheekbones should be because I have a lovely round face. I am not chubby, I just have a round face. But seriously, when I was underweight in school, I still had a round chubby face. So I go right up to the hairline with this. And because I've got the palest one, it means that I don't really need to worry too much about being a bit too ham because it's, build it's lovely and buildable. And I also tend to go get a bit on my brush and just go down the sides of my nose. It's not quite nose contouring, but I find it helps my nose not look wide and weird. And since I started doing it, you know what I mean, you just can't not do it. So next is blush. Again, another thing I probably need to replace, The Life of the Peach by L'Oreal. This is, what is this? Masked Blush and Brush. I just go in. This one is fairly pigmented, so I'm a bit careful with it. Yes, I'm one of those weirdos who puts blush on my nose, but it's gonna go red anyway. I may as well just embrace it. I don't use much of this. And I do highlighter last because I get a fallout under my eyes sometimes. I don't really fancy like dealing with that today. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with the Mama Mitchell Me Myself and Me Myself and Mama Mitchell palette with Beauty Bay. I don't know my nails are a bit ratchet right now, but perk of the job. I do find this mirror a bit annoying because it comes out, but you deal with it. So I'm gonna get my lovely brush, make sure it's clean on my nice towel. 
which really needs to go in the wash but so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna i'm gonna go in with modest which is this peachy shade up here i'm just gonna put that slightly through my crease i have already powdered my brows brows my eyes down when i did the rest of my face because i have enormous eyelids and they crease like crazy now i'm gonna go in with meh this kind of neutralish taupey shade i don't know what it is and i do blend this up quite far because fun eyelids weird shape i do go and literally tap it in and build because otherwise i find i go a bit too ham i'm gonna go in with man-made which is this color right here the one in front of my finger not in front of my brush again i'm just gonna go tap this isn't a palette i would normally use but i wanted to do something more interesting and if I'm running late, I normally just sort of stick with like bronzer or something through my crease. Or do something really, really simple rather than all this layering and shit like that. I'm not going to run any excess on my brush underneath. Which apparently there's none, so I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm going to go with Muse, which is this one right in the second one from the bottom and I'm going to get this lovely big old brush and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit just so they're a bit more seamless and you know so I'm going to go in with matte again which is this kind of coolish neutralish tone next to the green and then that under but on my lower lash line, down here. And do the same with combo of Man Made and Muse. But I literally tap them both together, tap a little bit off. So I tap, tap, and then tap it off on the towel on my lap. And I do the same with Man Made and Muse and just go over my lid with both of them. Disclaimer, I know this isn't the most suitable thing for some people at work or school or whatever, but quite honestly, nobody will bat an eyelid if I turned up to work with bright green eyeshadow. I have turned up to work with bright purple and bright pink eyeshadow. And all that's being said by the bosses, you're looking vibrant. Not all bosses are gonna be as chilled as mine is. I'm going to go in with Meaty, which is this reddish thing right here. I'm going to go in with, which my fingers is less up at the moment. The middle finger. So sorry if I start getting a view taker fans at me using my middle finger. I'm just going to literally swipe it over my lid. I never use a brush to apply shimmers because fingers almost always work better. I'm going to go in with a touch of Melt of This Gold shade here and just tap that into the middle and blend it in with the red and there's a little bit more of a meaty just on the inner and outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit I think I'm gonna leave it there there has been a little bit of fallout just around here, I'm hoping the camera's picking it up, but it's nothing major. So I just get a big brush and sweep it away. And this is why I apply highlighter last, otherwise you can end up with stuff like that stuff. I'm going to go in with my brush again and just kind of blend the edges. Make sure everything's seamless, blended. Now I'm going to go with mascara and I have two favourites. The Obnoxious Volume 1 by Rude, this is amazing, it's what I use on an everyday basis, and The Lash Princess by Essence, it looks like this, really, really cheap, fairly cheap. I don't see the point in buying expensive mascaras, so I'm going to go in with The Lash Princess 
stuff. Now what I'd love to know from you guys down in the comments is what your favourite makeup bits are. Because I never know, because I speak to the same people at work each day, usually. Occasionally makeup comes up, but I'd love to know what everybody else is, because I don't really, other than YouTubers who are sometimes paid to say this product's amazing and it's actually complete shit, I don't really see much. And I'd love to know what your favourites are. And then I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and go in with the obnoxious one by Rude. That spot is now really bugging me. Oh well. And for highlighter, I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Impressed Highlighter, basically. I can't get into it. Because the packaging is like this. I always try and open it from the hinge. And I've made a fairly decent dent in this. It looks like this. It's just a really pretty colour. Load my brush up and I'm going with a teeny tiny little brush. This is the masked pencil brush, looks like this. It's literally this teeny tiny brush. Get a little bit of product on it. I'm going with the inner corners. So this is the finished look. And I've just got a nude lipstick. This is the Evolution Pro Cashmere lipstick looks like this and is a lovely colour. This is what I normally keep in my work bag. I always forget about. So I use it today. And yeah. I also use the oh what is it? Wet and Wild Rose Fixing and Setting Spray and I just love how this turns out. Because I wouldn't normally go for something like this if I was running late, but not only late today, I'm just meeting a boyfriend in town after he's finished at uni, and this is what I came up with. So I hope you like this video, if you have, please give it a big thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Especially the two people who thumbed up last week's video, last time's video. And if you leave, let me know what your favourite products are, your favourite YouTubers, anything you like down below, just so I know that you're watching. Even if it's just a uh, love watching your video, I don't mind. So I'll see you next time, who knows when that'll be for another video. I'll see you later. Bye.